Hallelujah. Listen to me. There is nothing mysterious about answered prayers. I will say it again. There is nothing mysterious about answered prayers. I'm going to say that again. There is nothing mysterious about answered prayers. Answered prayers is what God wants every one of us to have. The Lord wants you to live in a realm where all your prayers are answered. There is nothing mysterious about answered prayers. God is not trying to keep himself from you. God is trying to actually keep some things for you, not from you. They are kept protected to be revealed unto you. God is not keeping things from you. God is keeping things for you. Say with me, he's keeping things for me. Not from me. Is somebody understanding what I'm saying? Huh? Praise the Lord. So God is keeping things for you. Hallelujah. He's not trying to hide himself. God is not trying to... I understand that he's invisible. And then he's also invincible. He's invisible in the ex, uh, to, to the extent that you cannot see him and all that. But the fact that you cannot see him does not mean, as it were, that you can't understand him. All right? God wants you to know him. There is nobody who is trying to hide himself who will give you 66 books of you trying to know him. I mean, 66 books of the Bible, from Genesis to Revelation, all revealing to you. As if the Old Testament wasn't enough, God says they might not know me enough. I want Jesus to come and show them the manifestation of all that I am in the New Testament. He said, nobody has seen God at any time. He said, but the only begotten Son, he has manifested him, he has made him known. Jesus said, I'm going to make him known to you so you can know him. And then we have the New Testament again, bringing us into the X-ray dimension of the picture of the New Testament, of the, of the Old Testament, bringing and revealing to us to be able to see clearly things that our natural eyes probably, when Jesus, you know, uh, when he says, if, um, if I be lifted up, I will draw all men to myself. If I be lifted up, you know, many times people think, that's, oh, that scripture means if I be lifted up, you know, that means if, if, if we lift Jesus up, the back bigger, all right? The back praise, if you, if you lift him up, let's lift Jesus higher, 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 higher. He says, if I be lifted up. That is not what he's saying. He's not saying that if you lift me up in your praise, I will draw all men to myself. The scripture there, if I be lifted up there, talks about him hanging on the cross. That means when I be lifted up from the earth, all right, I hang on the cross and everything like that. And then, that's number one. And then in my ascension, okay, that's the second part, okay. It's first the lifted up to the crucifixion and then ascension. He said, all men who come to me, I will draw all men. So it is not, you know, hey, hey, beggar, hey, beggar. you know, if I, if I lift him up, then whatever. It is, that is, it's, it's good you praise him, but he's not talking about your praise in that context, He's talking about his elevation, first of all, on the cross, then his ascension. He now says, if I be lifted up in that regard, then all men will come unto me. So the Bible, God is not trying to hide himself. He gave you 66 books. No, who, who writes a biography, a biography, autobiography, bibliography, whatever. All manner of graphy, just so you know him. Number two, he gave you the Holy Spirit to interpret the Bible. He gave you his spirit to interpret the Bible to you. Why did he give you the Holy Ghost? The Bible tells us in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 2 verse 9. Eyes have not seen. Ears have not heard. It has not entered to the heart of man. The things that God has in store for those who love him. Verse 10. But these things are revealed to us by the spirit. He is the spirit of revelation. How be it when the spirit of truth shall come. He shall guide you into all truth. He gave you the Bible. Number one. He gave you the Holy Ghost. Number two. Why? Holy Spirit. Go and review. Magnify me. Show them who I am. After I see that is not enough. He gave you a pastor again. To keep teaching, I will give you pastors after my heart who will feed you with knowledge and understanding. Three proofs to you that God is not trying to hide. God is trying to be known. He wants you to know him. Not like the gods of men that try to hide because they have nothing to offer. God knows, you see, there are people whose reputation falls short of their presence. 
I will say it again. I said there are people whose reputation falls short of their presence. You have heard so much about this powerful God until you get there and do whatever. Every time God shows up, his presence is, powerful, is more powerful than his reputation. God's presence beats his reputation 100%. I said, God's presence, every time God show up, you will know you've not heard enough. Is somebody understanding what I'm saying? I said, every time you've heard that God is powerful, let him show up. This is how you go. <gasps> let him show up. You will know that this guy's presence, he's not trying to hide. There is nothing mysterious about answer prayers. Answer, so someone says, I'm always having my prayers answered. There is nothing mysterious about it. You can learn the principles. That is why you have that amount of information available to you. And I pray for you that in the name of Jesus, prayer will not be a religious act. Amen. Prayer will not be a religious act. Amen. You know, I notice something that, you know, every time I, I, I get up to pray, we have, we have six um, map. 6 a.m. You know, prayers that I, I do on Mixella. Usually, I wake up an hour before. So, I usually, you know, I'm already up by, you know, four something. You know, this, this, I don't even know what I've been waking up three o'clock. And um, I'm up, study, and all that. Then, what is funny, this way I'm going, is that when I stand up to pray, it, I do not, it's as real as I want to go and take this microphone. I'm not thinking. Not for a second that I will be rejected. It can't happen. Now, you don't hear me. Hear the assurance and the audacity. It can't happen. I mean, it, so it can't happen that I will be rejected. It can't. We cannot be denied yes, as God's children. I need you to come to that place of assurance. I cannot be denied. Prayer is not a guesswork. It's not shadow boxing. Where there is nothing in front of you and you are just throwing jabs to see if one of them enter, it doesn't enter. It's not shadow boxing. It is real. I cannot be denied. I'm not thinking that, let me get up and go and pray. We've got answers. I know he will answer me. Look at what Jesus said. Standing at the tomb of Lazarus, he was about to speak to a man who was dead for four days. I'm not talking about a man that is suffering from headache. You understand that? This is not a man that he has a dick. Mm. He had been dead for four days. Hear what Jesus said. He said, Father, I thank you because you hear me always. Some of you go like, and you know what I found out? Doubt marvels at unbelief. He thinks, I mean, uh, sorry, doubt marvels at faith. He thinks faith is arrogant. Every time doubt sees faith, it goes like, that's arrogance there. No, it is not. My prayers has to be answered. I can tell you if I live here and if I pray, God will answer. I can tell you if I pray tomorrow, God will answer me. On the authority of scriptures, he said, ask and I will answer you. He says, seek and you will find. Knock, the door shall be opened. He said, call upon me and I will answer you. He said, ask that you'll join me. How many scriptures, how many other scriptures do you need to be sure? That when we pray according to his will, he hears us. And if he hears us, he will grant our petition. How many more legalities of scriptures do you need for you to know that if you pray, God will answer you? There is no mystery in some prayers. There's nothing mysterious. It is as plain as ask. The only here, challenge here is sometimes when a man does not know necessary additions after he has asked. There are things that we add to our prayers after we have asked. And if you have been, not been following this series, get the messages. They are available for free. The messages are available for free. Go there and listen to these things. What, there is what a man knows that makes him talk as such. There is what a man knows. It's not guesswork. You need to be around my life for you to know what I'm telling you. It's not guesswork. I'm speaking by assurance. Knowing fully where you will be in my life tomorrow, three days tomorrow, three next week, and know that what I'm saying, that you will see see it. Everything I've prayed for, the Lord has heard me and has granted. Personally in my life. When I'm praying with other people, there are many factors. 
Your faith is needed, my faith. That's why it's called prayer of agreement. You supply your faith, I supply my faith. We have to be on the same frequency and wavelength for it to be. Because let me say this to you, and this was more, can I speak to those of you, you feel like you're praying for somebody and God has not answered. Listen to me. If the person is a matured Christian, the person you are praying for, if they are old and matured enough, hear this, I want you to hear this, and it looks like God is not answering your prayers, there is a reason. You cannot use your faith against another person who is a believer. They must be willing. Because that other person is a free will agent. Else, people will start using faith to manipulate other people. So when you pray, and you're praying with somebody, that person must be in line. If it's an unbeliever, it's a different thing, because he can't stand in for himself, then you can stand in to pray. Even that has limitations. You can't, because if it doesn't have limitations, you cannot say that, say, now, who is an unbeliever that you know? Say, Lord, I pray, since I'm an unbeliever, tell him to give me 10 billion. You cannot use prayer as a manipulative tool. Because that person also is a free will agent. It's the reason why you love somebody, the person is not loving you back, you are trying to pray that they will love you and they are not still loving you. Because the person is a free will agent. You cannot use faith to manipulate people. Oh Lord, let him love me. He's a lie. God, it won't happen. If God says to you, let me speak to you everybody. If God says that's your husband, and, and you know that's your husband, and your husband that God said is not coming to ask the wife that God said. I hope I've not confused you. God said that, woman, that man there is your husband. And the person God told you is your husband is not asking you out. And throughout this fasting period, you have fasted the brother, supplicated the brother, authoritized the brother. What other additions of faith have we said? Eh? Confesslized the brother. Praiselized the brother. Huh? Walks lies the brother. What is in me? What is it to do? Walks lies the brother. But you do more with pepper soup, Lord. The brother. <laughs> the brother has fertilized fats on your profession, and nothing is happened. Sister, move. Did you hear what I said? I said, move. Glory. Sister, what? Sister, what? Stop holding on. Let me tell you, you can hold on for 10 years and that brother won't change. Because you cannot use your faith and God said to manipulate another person to change. What God said to you about somebody is for you, not for them. That God said that person, that is for you. For him also, he has to pick it. God will never force another person. But, but, but how can I go to another person? Pastor, me, well, I'm not going anywhere. I will carry my own bone. I will not go and carry... Fibula, tibia, only tibia. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Because I'm telling you now, there is no such thing. No such thing as this is your bone of the bones. No such thing. I said, I'm telling you, there is no such thing. So when they give birth to children, some children died. That's someone's bone that died. So the, the, the woman will remain husbandless because the bone died when they gave it to the bone. If, because if you ask yourself some questions, you will know that this is, this, this is not theology at all. This is just some things that somebody said. Okay, some children that were born with cerebral palsy, maybe something happened terribly and everything like that, and then whatever, and that's someone's born. You know, have you noticed people that say, I receive, I receive the brother, the Lord point, uh, and, 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 and daddy, I need to tell you exactly how the Lord said it to me. The Lord was specific, sir. The Lord was specific. And that is the power of specificity in prayer. <laughs> sir. I do not mean to teach you scriptures. But allow me to suppose and to propose. And to show you according to scriptures. Just the same way when Adam woke up and said, This is the, I knew clearly 
that the monkey was not my wife the zebra was not my wife neither was the lion it was eve sir i knew it was brokenly as brokenly as you have he's waiting to be sure 10 years that brother is waiting 29 now don't turn 39 waiting for somebody else there is no such thing when God leads you to a person, and I want to say this, when God leads you to somebody in prayers, what God is saying to you is that if you marry this person with the destiny of this brother and with your destiny, there is workability. It can work. It is not that with your destiny and whatever, it is certainty. Mm -mm. It's workability. Yeah. It will work. There are some other people that are also God's children. When you pray, God says it can't work. <laughs> the, here, there's no workability. Not because the brother is a bad person. Not because, because your destiny is diametrically opposed. Where both of you are going is not the same. <laughs> so God says, you can't marry this guy. He's my son. There is another woman I've ordained for him. It can work within this sphere, these other people, whatever. But for you, where you are going, if you marry this class and this kind of person, it will work. But this other person, it won't work. It is not for certainty, it's for workability. That there is destiny alignment here. It's not destiny certainty. That person can go. Woo! Glory! Freedom. Let them go. And if you're a brother also, I'm telling you, you better move on. Move on. I'm telling you, because what happens is I see hope is very powerful. Hope, 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 hope. <laughs> hope will tell you that, see, I can tell something is changing, sir. Daddy, I'm telling you, for two years I've been waiting for her. She has never smiled. Last week she smiled. <laughs> I sense something is about to change. So you hold on for another one year. Then after the next year, she greets you. Something says she's still going to change. Then you wait for another one year. After a while, she'll just come and say, you know, as my best friend, meet my boyfriend. And I've told you before, hear this. Let me help you, those of you who are young now, who are not married. Uh, hear this the most painful breakup in life <laughs> is the breakup that you never dated <laughs> I just want you to know that the most painful breakup in life is the breakup that happens even though we never did it because when they ask you and say why are you crying you will not be able to talk <laughs> when they ask you wait wait so ask her out. No. So if we answer, no. But we are dating. How are we dating? In our soul, we both know. I'm telling you. I just pray for you. Because at this stage now, a number of you are, are here now. You're not in relationship and all that. Or you're still young and everything like that. Listen to me. Don't put yourself in the place where you cry. And then some of you will not cry now. Start accusing God. But God, you said, he said, God said, I said, but I've changed the, the sentence. Someone says, God, you changed? God says, yeah, uh -uh. oh, come Bible, Nico. yeah. <laughs> now, what does the Bible say? Bible says, man shall not live by what? But by every word that what? Not proceeded, proceeds. Continuous. Not proceeded. God tells you to go and kill Isaac and that is the only information you had. And God is about to give another instruction but you said whatever the Lord says is what I do. Proceeded. What is God saying in the now? God says let that lady go. Hmm, deliverance. Now, let me strike a balance. For those of you who have been looking for a way to break up with that somebody. And then you will cut a part of this message and send it to the person. 
that I, I had been considered, but God's servant spoke. That this word is not for you. What I mean is that if you want to do evil, don't bring this message into that evil. Don't use my mess, don't use this thing to justify. After you have eaten Indomie, you have eaten plantain, you have told them you want asun. The girl has almost died making asun and pepper soup. Now you will not cut this message. Say, so I feel like we might not be in the same location, but we should be hearing the same message. Hear what Pastor said in service. Let that lady. And as he said it, I saw your face. It was by revelation. God showed me your face. It was so vivid. I feel bad that this has to be done, but I'm obeying the Lord. Yeah. Let me just tell you that. <laughs> because when you, are, when you are responsible for young people, you know, I always say young people, they're like typewriters. You know typewriter? Typewriter will keep moving this way. After a while, you have to hit it back. So let's hit you back. Let's, let's stabilize it. Huh? Don't be caught being taken advantage of. Yeah, and some of you don't understand. And, and I, know, I know this is for somebody here, but yeah, I don't know who you are. You have moved beyond even giving food. You are giving your body. Thinking that that is the extra thing you need to do to secure that relationship. I'm telling you under heaven, premium lagatiers is what will come out of it. Premium, Pro Max TS is what you will share after. Pro Max is not, it will be Pro Max 16. That is what you will, yeah. You are giving your body to secure somebody. <laughs> you are there. They call you, come, you, you carry your bag like this thing. Go there. You stay there. I know you are here and you are hearing me. Thinking that that is how you keep the guy. And some of you are even here with that same guy. He's sitting beside you. All right. Praise God. Amen. Be delivered in Jesus' name. Psalms 1. 137 verse 1. Psalms 137 verse 1. May you be under somebody who can tell you the truth. I always say it, the person I can't correct is not in this, is not in COC. If I've not corrected you, it's because you and I have not jumped. No, that's not my personality. I've never cared what anybody can give and anybody, whatever. I fear only one person is God. Psalms 137 and verse 1. By the rivers of Babylon, there we sat down. Yea, we wept when we remembered Zion. By the rivers of Babylon, there we wept. Hallelujah. There we sat down. Yea, we wept as we remembered Zion. We hung our harps upon the white willows, okay, in the midst thereof. For they that carried us away captive required of us a song. And they that wasted us required of us a mirth. Saying, sing us one of the songs of Zion. How shall we sing the Lord's song in a strange land? Psalms 137. 1. Give it to me in TPT. Let me see what TPT renders. Hallelujah. It says, along the banks of Babylon rivers, we sat as exiles, mourning our captivity. We wept with great love for Zion. Continue. Our music and our mirth were no longer heard. Only what? Sadness. We hung our harps on the willow trees. Okay. Our captors lamented, saying, make music for all of us and sing your happy Zion songs. Hallelujah. But how could we sing the song of the Lord in a foreign wilderness? And this is the response of many people. 
This is the response of many people. When you are going through a difficult time, when you are going through a difficult challenge, you think it's a season of quietness. You think it's a season of trouble. You think it's a season whereby your voice should not be heard. By the rivers of Babylon, you know, my, my marriage is going through a difficult time. And because my marriage is going through a difficult time, my career is not doing so well. And if my career is not doing so well, I've not even gotten contract in a while. And oh dear Lord, what exactly is happening? So therefore, what happened is that we step into a zone of complaint. We step into a zone of sadness and sorrow. We become so unhappy. And one of the first things that happens to most people, one of the first things Satan comes to take from you is your song. So here he says, by the rivers of Babylon, there we sat down. And yea, we wept when we remembered. And now our captives, those who took us captives, they began to request. Says, Sing us one of those happy Zion songs. And for you, you might think that, see, it's a mockery. It's almost like life is mocking you, saying sing. No, life is not mocking you, saying sing. It is a strategy of war if you are smart spiritually. And let me say this to you. Some of you don't understand that there is physical physical smartness and there is spiritual smartness you can be smart physically and be dumb spiritually spiritual smartness is actually found when you begin to study the word of the lord when you begin to fellowship with god you begin to step into spiritual smartness and spiritual smartness always 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 when combined with natural smartness without way natural smartness alone and so here these folks were going through trouble they were going through challenge perhaps like some of you here in certain areas of your life whereby things are not working the way you wanted to you haven't gotten a job in a while since the last job you did as it were and you feel so sad so so unhappy and then he said here he said we took our instrument of worship which is the harp Harp in those days is something you use in singing melody to God. He said, we hung our harp. And I don't know who you are. Where have you hung your praise? Where have you kept your instrument of glory? Where have you put that thing that you use in giving thanks? That powerful song of Zion that you used to sing before. How is it that recently the song of Zion has not proceeded out of you, you know, lately, just like these people here? He said, we are going through a difficult time, and in our difficult times, we sense, I mean, that we, that we should keep quiet, we should be calm. How shall we sing the Lord's song in a strange land? We're not going to sing. We're not going to play music. We're just going to be sorry and sad in this situation and let me tell you something it is the strategy of satan to keep you quiet in a difficult moment it is the strategy of the devil to keep you short in a difficult moment because what faith is to god to act is what sorrow is to satan to act both of them need a climate to function in when you begin to dwell, when you begin to function from sadness and sorrow, you have given Satan a huge advantage over your life. Some of you have been quiet for too long. You've been quiet for too long. You felt like, look, if I can be quiet for this long, maybe, as it were, somebody somewhere will pity me. But if I'm singing, people will think I'm making progress. You don't understand. No man can help you if God has not helped you. I said, no man can help you if God has not helped you. You can cry from now to tomorrow. Keep a long face, as long as from here to Kaduna. And then nobody will still help you. But when you step into another arena, another moment, and another season of your life, then you about, and what's that season? A season of praise, a season of gratitude, a season of joy. How shall we sing the Lord's song in a strange land? They said, do you understand that that is the best time to sing the Lord's song? There is no better time. To sing the Lord's song than when you are in a difficult season. There is no better time to sing the Lord's song than when you are in your most you know, difficult season. You have to sing the Lord's song. You have to sing the Lord's song in a strange land. Not keep quiet. You have to sing the Lord's song. When things don't seem like you should sing, that is the time to sing. Some of you don't realize that prayer and praise must go hand in hand. 
It is praise is a necessary addition when it comes to supplication. Having prayed, you have to praise. The Bible said we saw earlier on in the book of Isaiah, I think 30 there about. He said, You shall have a song as in the night. You shall have a song as in the night, as in the holy solemnity. You shall have a song as in the night, not in the day. What does night mean? The night season of a man's life is when things are not working the way they should work. Look at it on the screen. Isaiah 30, 29. I want you all to read this. Everybody read, read, read. What does he say, please? When will you have that song? Is it in the day when everything is hunky-dory? No. When will you have it? In the night. Uh-huh. When all the solemnity is kept, continue. And what will happen, even though it's night, but gladness of heart, uh huh, as when one goeth with a pipe to come into the mountain of the Lord, uh huh, to the mighty one of Israel, continue. And the Lord shall cause what will happen when you have a song in the night? The Lord shall cause his voice to be heard. And what will happen when the voice of God is heard? And he shall show lightning, hallelujah, down. Of his arm with the indignation of his anger and with the flame of devouring fire and the scattering and the tempest and the hailstone. Look at the next verse. The next verse. For through the voice of the Lord, what will happen? Your enemies will be beaten down through the voice of the Lord. But before the voice of the Lord, it is your voice that is first heard. That is what I say. You, you shall have a song as in the night. You, not anybody. You shall have a song as in the night. Say, I have a song. Say with me, say, I have a song. Come and say, brother, say, I have a song as in the night. When you pray, when things seem difficult, please make sure you are not distracted. Satan does not care that you come to church. That's not whatever. He cares that you hear what will set you free. So he's not afraid of a location. He's afraid of what you do in that location. So make sure, because I believe your word is coming right now. So this is important. So when I said, God, you know, I, I, I don't have an, I, prayers that are not answered. Because I understand necessary additions. That having supplicated, having supplicated, it is necessary for the child of God to praise him. For a child of God to sing songs of Zion. It is necessary. It is. Not just you singing, you know, and just saying, hey, you know, a uh, song of sorrow. Some of you have songs of sorrow, but you ought not to have songs of sorrow. I said in the first service, but let me say it again. There is a soundtrack for every situation. I will say it again. There is a soundtrack for every situation. As you are going through a difficult challenge in your life. A difficult season. God in that season will give you a song of Zion. The song of Zion are not songs of complaint. They are not song of sorrow. They are not song of arrow. They are songs of praise. God in the season. In the most difficult times of your life. He will give you a soundtrack. And that soundtrack will not be reflective of what you are going through. But rather, it will be reflective of your breakthrough. It will not be reflective of what you are going through. In Yoruba movies, when something bad is about to happen, there is always a soundtrack. The soundtrack in Yoruba movie tells you what is about to happen in that scene. If you are very, Tokpa Labis is a specialist in singing those kind of songs for movies. So if somebody climbs a, popo, um, a coconut tree, there is a village scene, and there is a man who has four wives, and then three children, and then he needed money, and then some, because he needed money, he felt that he should go and tap palm wine to make money to whatever, but they want something bad to happen to the man. As the man gets on his rally bike, keke rally, then carry the god, the god and the calabash and his about whatever, then they will sound the song. I mean, they will start singing the song, the soundtrack. Go pe, go pe, jabo. Go pe, go pe, jabo. Alone, ma jia, go pe, jabo. Go pe, go pe, jabo. Go pe, go pe, jabo. Oluwa, ma jia, jabo. Now, already you can tell, hmm. This guy is about to die. 
Because the song is reflective of what is about to happen. Gokpe, Gokpe Jabor, Nigbati or Tasak Pamansi no Igbo, Tia Fe Gokpe Niwa Juan, Oluwa, I want to do Rosino Concontent Tafa Sino Imole, Gokpe Gokpe Jabor. Gope, gope, jabo, oluwa, magia, jab, nonsense. <laughs> now, what, what am I trying to say? Don't sing a song that is reflective of your captivity. Notice even the people who took them captive were sensible enough to, to say to them, they didn't say sing us a song of captivity. They said sing of a, a happy song of Zion. Not a song that reflects what you are going through, but rather a song that reflects where you are going. I'm breaking forth. <laughs> you check your body and then you feel the pain. They've given you the doctor's report. What song do you sing? Song of Zion. But the weak say. So if the weak is going to compose a song, what kind of song should he compose? A song of strength. Let the poor say, if the poor is going to compose a song, what song should he compose? Wealth. Song of wealth. wealth. Hallelujah. Yeah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Say with me, my songs, my songs. Don't, don't reflect, reflect. My, situation. my situation. Say my songs, my songs. Reflect, songs. Reflect, reflect my victories. My Hallelujah. Yeah. Amen. Amen. My song reflects my victories. Don't go back, go back, go Don't do that. Those who took them captivity said, Sing unto us the song, happy songs of Zion. But guess what? Even the enemy understood that your victory was in singing the song of Zion. But you don't know that. They took their instrument of worship and they hung it. They put it somewhere. Say, Akori, Akori, Fesukuni. I cannot speak to those of you who are expert wailers. Cry, cry. There is nothing wrong in crying. Let me stop, start the, you know, because my wife is always saying that. See, because you don't cry, you think people shouldn't cry. No, 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 no. There is nothing wrong in crying. Just know when to stop. Oh, I said just know when to stop. I said just know when to stop. Because some of you don't know when to stop. You cry for everything. Cry, cry, baby. Everything. Novel, you cry. Ordinary novel. They will just see you, just close it. Tears are running down. <laughs> then they ask you, I say, why are you crying? It's Jack. Some of you, every time you watch Titanic, you still cry. <laughs> You'll be watching a movie. I that one, I never understand why people cry in movies. I never understand. I'd never. The guy has acted another movie to tell you didn't die. <laughs> there is another movie that the same guy was in. So why are you crying? Jack did not die in Titanic. He showed up in another place. Someone said, hey, but there's a Jack that died many years ago. Many years ago. Did you know that one? If they didn't have this movie, we would have known. So it is not Jack, that one that died. It's this one that portrayed it, that held on to that sinking thing. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the love, eh? Love it. Short Instagram video, you cry. <laughs> Animal Planet, you cry. <laughs> what else will the eat? Please tell me. What else will he eat if he does not eat the antelope? What else will he eat? <laughs> when well, he was a baby antelope. What is the future? Please. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> the lion is chasing. <laughs> And your heart is going, bruh, bruh, bruh. Then, then, and then the deer, the zebra also, don't know that, then the lion face, whatever. I say, I say, oh no, sorry, sorry. Because that's how some of you are. You are like your parents. 
Hey, 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 Sorry, sorry, hey, what is sorry, what is sorry, what is sorry? I said, ha, ha, he can't be a man. What is Jay? Which are be a man zebra? What else would the lion eat if he does not eat the zebra? And then you start crying. Why are you crying? Let the lion eat the zebra. It's, a, it's, a, it's an animal kingdom. That's how they survive there. So, will you prefer the animal starve to death? The same you will come and cry now. If the, if the lion is starving to death. If they show a lion now that is starving to death. And then they ask this lion. And then, lion, why are you starving to death? They said, because you know, I don't want to eat zebra. So, I would rather die. I say, ha, ha, ha. I to kusha. Yet, if the lion stands up and starts chasing the zebra, you start crying again. Which one do you want? I'm not saying you should cry, not cry. But once you are done, start singing the song of Zion. I can't stop you from responding emotionally to something that should be responded to emotionally. But I just want you to know, nobody has cried their way to victory before. How I many, I mean, some of you some years back lost a dear one or somebody. Did you cry the person back to life? I lost my dad, you know. Everybody cried. My mom was still telling my wife yesterday, you know, and everything. <laughs> just yesterday, I know that something happened. I don't want to go into the details of. And then um, my wife was saying, I see, you know, that he didn't even whatever, you know. <laughs> my mom said to her, he said, but it's bad, cool, go, go, so, go. <laughs> so I'm not shocked. You, you know, I, you cry over everything. Because I looked at it. I missed the man so much. I would go to his casket then when he was lying in line, he and I just look at him again. I'm just like, oh, man, my God, I miss this guy. It's the last time I'm going to see him. I really do miss him, but I don't know how else. I don't, I don't want to go into this, you know, to whatever, you know. Everybody cried, but he didn't bring the man back. It's okay to respond emotionally, but know when to stop. No, don't let sorrow take your song. The song of Zion. The song of Zion. Say with me, I shall have a song. As in the night. Give it to me again, Isaiah chapter 30 verse 29. Say, I have a song. As in the night. Say, I have a song. As in the night. Say the Lord shall cause his voice. But what I'm doing is I want to pick something in verse 29, verse 30, and verse 31. Verse 29, go to verse 29. What's the beginning of verse 29? Uh huh. Go to verse 30. Uh huh. Go to verse 31. So I can say it this way. He shall have a song as in the night. Ah, huh? The Lord shall cause his voice to be heard. And by the voice of the Lord, the Assyrians shall be smitten. Glory. Yeah. Have a song. <laughs> say have a song. If I tell you some of the things I have sung through, you will be shocked. Have a song. Have a song. Have a song. I will rejoice. I will rejoice. I will rejoice. I my Lord. Rejoice in the Lord. I shall not rejoice, man. <laughs> Something like, I, I, I've made up my mind to rejoice in the Lord. It, it's not flowing. That's not what they can't, they can't say. I've made up my mind. What, what, what do they say there? I've made up. Who knows the song? Okay, there's no old time Christian here. All of you ancient of days, where are you? Where are you? Where are you? I is on the screen. Okay, you know it. All right. Okay. So. Joyce. Uh huh. Okay, it's a choice. I've made my choice to rejoice in the Lord. Notice what I said. It's a choice. Not I've made up my choice. I've made. Up. You see, joy has never fallen on anybody. Hey, me. Say with me is a choice. Say I decide. Say that I decide to rejoice. Have you decided? Now rejoice, come. 
Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Please be seated. Some people do not rejoice. So. And I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I mean, like, you know, they don't know. They are so stiff, like a roku tree. I'm telling you, like Arab. He said, Ha! Ha! Glory! No. <laughs> I am a Kotabaha. My wife will come, you know, in those days, come to, 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 the, to the room. Because I would just shout, she will run in. I said nothing now. Praise God. Glory. 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 Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Say, I have a song. As in the night. He said, The Lord shall cause his voice to be heard. He said, Therefore, the Assyrians shall be smitten. Amen. Please be seated. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. Be seated. You see, when it comes to joy, there are people Satan has deceived. I will tell you. Satan tells you, you know, I your ye in Komodeni. That is why in you are, you are taking it. You are taking it. Because you don't understand that when you are before God, there is, there is no age. You are a child of God and a son of God. There is nowhere in the Bible where I saw the elder son of God. I didn't find the father of God, the mother of God. There, there's no, there, have you seen that? When the Bible says, I say, the mother in God, the father in God, you will see there the son of God. Let me tell you what I want to be doing at 80. Hey, glory! Yeah. Yeah. At 80, I want to be dancing before the Lord. Something is not working. Shut, shut the door. At your age, dance before him. Don't let Satan come and sell a lie to you. Joy has nothing to do with age. Number one. Number two, joy has nothing to do with personality. I'm an introvert. We don't, we don't shout. Hey! Yeah. <laughs> Praise God. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. Joy is not age sensitive. Yes, sir. Joy, I said, is not age sensitive. Yes, sir. Now, listen, joy is not personality sensitive. Yes, sir. Can I also say this? Joy is not circumstance sensitive. Yes. yes. You know what that means? It doesn't matter what you are going through. Let me say this to you. <laughs> Let me say this to you. Huh? If you are here and you are an introvert, I want you to di disobey that nature and give Jesus a shout. Yeah. Yeah. Be seated. Be seated. Be seated. Be seated. Amen. Say with me. Say our Lord. It's not age sensitive. It's not personality sensitive. It's not circumstance sensitive. Joy is a superior technology to age. It's a superior technology 
to personality is a superior technology to challenges. It doesn't make any sense that you will, you will just sing in the night and God will cause his voice to be heard. And what happened? God will beat all your enemies small just by shouting and singing. I have a song. Amen. Amen. Nothing confuses Satan like when he's troubling you and you are singing. I said nothing confuses Satan. And you must confuse your enemy. It's a strategy in war. Because the response is predictable when people are going through challenge. What response... The, right, the response people give when they're going through challenge is what you saw in the book of Psalms. By the rivers of Babylon, where we sat down. And here we wept when we remember Zion. And then those two, they say we should sing a song. I said, we cannot sing a song. Go, fly, fly. In a strange land. Yeah, oh, Lonnie Tako. Ah, Lonnie Tako. I big it all Africa. We have to have to say, Yogi. We have to say, Lala. Lala. We have to say, Lala. Ah, ah, Corinne Kakan. <laughs> but we will sing. We will sing. I said, I will sing. Yeah. I will sing. <laughs> I will sing. There's one song that, is it Don Munda sang? I will sing. Something like that. Yeah. I will sing. Uh, I will sing. I said, no, I will sing that part. I will praise. I used to say you would know the old songs from beginning to the end. Isn't that a miracle? But I just know that there is a part where I will sing. It, but... And I noticed now, in, in part of the song, you get someone in my darkest hour or something like that. That is how it is now. You should have a song as in the night. In the darkest hour. You should have a song as in the night. Yeah. Going through challenges. I'm not, why do you think I share some of the things I've been through with you in ministry and in life as a person? It's because maybe some of you are going through that now and then you're telling yourself that yeah, it's over. You're running. You're coming out on top. I'm telling you, I can tell you the end from the beginning. And I'm not God. But because I have seen God, I know what the end is. This thing you are going through cannot take your life. He's alive. He cannot. This delay is going to come to an end, I'm telling you. By next year, you will be married, I'm telling you. Yes. By next time, you will carry your child, I'm telling you. No, take it from me. Yes. I'm because I speak on the authority of the word of God. Yes. 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 Hallelujah. Yes. Praise God. Listen to me. You are struggling to gather a few hundreds of thousands this year. By next year, you'll be a millionaire. I'm telling you. By next year. By next year. By next year. Let me say it this way. Let me say this. Maybe it will make more meaning. Next year, when we want to give freedom conference. Wait, 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 wait. wait. You, will have, you will run to my office and say, sir, if you want to give sacrifice for something else, for Freedom Conference, I will take care of everything. Yeah. There is for something else. Yeah. Yeah. Now I'm telling you. I just wanted to see it. Hold on. Let me tell you what I do. See yourself having you and I, you sitting in front of me, picture that conversation. Say, excuse me, sir, I just want you to know, I don't want you to, you know, we can give for something, but if it's Federal Conference, I want, I, 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 I've taken care of everything. And this is you in this year, struggling with a few hundreds of thousands. 
by next year you're a multi-billionaire you are struggling with house rent by next year you'll be in your duplex be seated be seated let me tell your neighbor I know how the story goes you didn't say well tell your neighbor I know how the story goes now tell you this way I know how the story ends should I tell you tell them should I tell you how it ends you will be on top yeah you will be on top say with me I have a song as in the night say God's voice has been heard say therefore the Assyrians have been smitten yeah amen you have you have to learn to host a praise party by yourself I'm telling you I'm telling you I told you I said, my wife will be coming. I said, baby, close your close your close your I said, well, I said, I I What is it? I feel like shouting. I feel like shouting. Yeah. A while back, I had this funny dream. You know those vivid dreams? Very vivid that when you wake up, you go, like, what in the world was this? And all that. And some of you instantly, you will stand up and start laboski, raboski, raposki. No. Enter that sitting room. Because I know when Satan showed you that, you know what he does? He stays. He wants to watch. How are you going to respond? I got downstairs. And I made sure trot. I sang Yoruba song. <laughs> and not more than one. Ijo ki majo fun baba. Yeah. I was singing, you know, and if you know me, I'm whatever. I, I was making face alone, midnight. I would do this. I'm telling, my wife, she's always saying that, baby, what? Baoloma is serious. She, I'm, if I would do that, it's Satan. Araki, my dog. I was, I could tell you to himself, I just love me. Yeah, because the question, and after I've danced, you know what I said to him? I said, if you could do it, why did I have to see it? Oh, she she tomba bieda. Try it. Try it now. Why are you soliciting my agreement? You first want to show me to see what I would say. Ah, we will march. Go, let's go. How? Wow. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. I say I'm blessed. I'm blessed. Some of you are too serious. Even when you're praising God, you look like you're fighting with Him. What shall I render? What shall I render? Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. What shall I render to you, oh Lord? Look at Satan. What shall I render? Play. Play. Let Satan know that he could jam I said, could jam I'm not afraid you have lost. Jesus conquered you. And forever and ever you remain conquered. It can, what he showed me can never happen. I dare you. That's exactly what I said to him. I said, I dare you. You are not your demons. I dare you a million times. I said, you gather everything you have. I dare you a million times. It can't happen. Well, here you are. You're dead, scared. DJ, respond with praise. You shall have a song as in the night. As in the holy solemnity. You shall have a song as in the night. You don't understand that immediately you start praising God. What you are doing is that you are, it's like you bring, you know, when you want to take somebody to a venue, you will bring a vehicle. Then you tell the person to enter or whatever. When you bring praise to the venue, you have introduced the vehicle upon which God rides. He inhabits the praises of his people. As you are singing, God says, You bring God to the venue of the challenge. 
God, de- God is there. God says, ha, ha, ha. And let me tell you something. When God shows up, hey, the Bible says in the book of Psalms, he says, oh, mountain, why are you skipping like rams? <laughs> he said, why are all of you trembling? They said, oh, tremble at the presence of the Lord God. If God shows up in that situation, situation, I'm a tremble, man. That is why you don't dare, not dare complaining. Stop! I'm not serving you. I'm not serving you. I give me tight. I give me tight. I come and I say tight for me. Stop it! And do what is right. Go and praise God. Lock your shop. Dance there before you open to anybody. Lock your business. Rejoice. Dance the customers inside. Rejoice. Let the clients begin to come. Prayer must go with praise. That is why throughout this month, what we taught is supplication and the necessary addition. What are the things that must go with prayer? Praise is a necessity. But the rivers of Babylon... That is where we ought to sing. It was a misnormal. It was an abnormality to be in challenge and not to sing. It's an abnormality. Now, you, some of you think that, say, but uh, uh, that, that, pastor, it cannot be an abnormality. She be the right thing is to cry. No, that is natural. In the spirit, that's not the right response. Stop giving the right response. Don't be like that woman on Instagram that you will be asking a question. She'll be saying something else. Hey, Joe, you didn't love. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't even know. There's no woman. She never answers correctly. Any? Ekwe apuati, Papa? No, 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 no. Anima, please, where are you going? Are we? Pebon Musijapo. I said, nothing. Don't be like that. There is a proper response. When trouble comes, he said, when there is night, you shall have a song as in the night. The right response is a song. Say with me, song of Zion. Song of Zion. Say song of, deliverance. song of deliverance. Say song of Zion. Song of, Zion. Song of deliverance. Song of deliverance. I want to say it better. Say song of Zion. Song of, Zion. Song of, deliverance. Song of deliverance. Amen, amen, amen. Someone has threatened you. Go and dance. Go and dance. Pray about it. Once you are done praying, there is an addition. You've seen it in the Bible. The king came, he threatened you know, Judah and Israel. And after he threatened them and all that, I will deal with you, I will deal with you and everything like that. They went to ask the Lord, God, God says, leave him alone. I will arrest his destiny today. This war, we're going to, how do we're going to fight this war? When they were listening, they were thinking that God would say, sharpen your sword better. The problem why you are afraid of losing this war is because I've been telling you that your archers need to be very on point. Quickly change your archers so that when they shoot arrow, pow, you enter. That's what they were expecting. God says, no. Get the choir. Let them wear robe. <laughs> let, them wear, let the choir wear robe. So imagine Ukraine war now in Russia. Because if you don't picture these things, you won't understand how ridiculous they are. Because some of you just look at the Bible or whatever. No, it was real war. People were going to die. So imagine Russia and Ukraine now and everything like that. Then Ukraine goes and says, I say, God, God says, don't worry. Get the choir. Let them wear choir clothes. <laughs> <laughs> then they would dance to the war front. <laughs> Hallelujah. And then the enemy, they are coming with everything. Some of you, if God gives that advice, say, Talevekpa. <laughs> you are not going to believe it. Emile, let me say, roasted. Can't you see the artilleries of the enemy? Can't you see the, 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 the missiles, the bazooka, the everything like that? That one, the robe, come on, tambourine. Say, what shall I render? What shall I render? The, and, the, and the Russian soldiers are saying, what is this? <laughs> then they call Putin. Say, wait, wait, something is wrong here. <laughs> but he said, he said, they are dancing, they are, they, are, they are coming. 
and then they ask them, with what have you come to fight us? Say, with our tambourine. <laughs> now, you see how ridiculous it is? That is how prophetic instructions are sometimes. Because some of you think it's just a Bible war. It was a real war. Real war. People died in, the, in battles in scriptures. Saul died in battle. Jonathan died. They didn't die small deaths. Then they come wake up tomorrow. They died. Nobody saw them after. So in Bible, people died. So this war was a war that was going to lead to death and destruction. Yet God says, I have a secret weapon. It's a weapon of praise. He said, as you begin to dance, I will set ambushment against your enemies. I know that. That shall have a song as in the night. As in holy solemnity. Then God shall cause his voice to be heard. And by the voice of the Lord, the Assyrians shall be smitten. Thou shalt have a song as in the night. God says, dance there, dance. A joyful one. Come admire him. Then the guy that is beating, you don't say, Ludada, Ludada. You know. Awa tunde, awa tunde. Awa omo jesu. And then they cock their gun. Kaka, kaka. They didn't say, Oh, man, it's very. Uh, da- oh, you. No! They kept dancing forward. Our Tunde, our Tunde. They kept dancing. Because some of you think that it was an easy thing to do. You don't understand it takes faith to obey. Because when you are dancing right then, the bow and arrow is ready, the spear is ready, the enemy formation is there. Looking at them, say, We will kill every one of you today. And yet you keep singing. You keep singing. One of them pulled the other one and said, hmm. <laughs> Emilio target, Emilio target. Emilio, 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 target. Emilio, 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 but thank God we saw what happened. The enemies turned against themselves. They began to fight themselves. And the Lord wrought for himself a mighty miracle. Till today we still talk about it. God will do a miracle that will shock everyone around you. I said God will do a miracle that will shock everyone around you. Say, I have, a song. I have a song. As in the night. As in the night. And the voice the of the Lord, the Lord. is heard. Yeah. And by the voice of God, the voice of God. Every, matter, every matter, every issue, every, issue. every, circumstance, every circumstance is finished. finished. Hallelujah. Yeah. Praise God. Please be seated. Let's quickly round off. Let's round off. I refuse. Say better. Say I refuse. To sing a song. Apart from the song of Zion. Thank you. Hallelujah. I refuse to sing any song that is apart from that. Unyaru. Not here. Song of sorrow. Not here. Some, because some of you are experts at composing sorrowful songs. I have, have you noticed that all your poems are sad? Every poem you write is a sad poem. With broken wings, the, the, the bed flew. <laughs> <laughs> Struggling through the torrents of the wind. Weak. Destitute, hungry, yet it managed to wait against the wind. The trouble is trying to pull it down to the ground. The bed waded through. As he moved, he struggled until a cat took it and ate it. <laughs> Why did you tell us all that to bring us to a, a sad ending? Because 
all your, all your poems are sad. You, you, why? It's a reflection of your soul. Because creativity flows from your soul. So it's difficult to actually, when someone is always writing, watch some movies from by some actors, you can see the soul of that actor. I mean, sorry, the, of that writer. Check. Check the production of some people. This guy is always producing movies like this. Check. That is his soul. Creativity is not apart from the soul. A dark soul produces dark creativity. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It will still be creative because the way you arrange the words, people will go like, uh uh, but it always ends bad. The bird flu. Journey across. Across the Atlantic, through the cold, through the heat, the flu. He had not eaten for days, yet, for the destination ahead, he didn't stop. Feathers falling off. Wings weak, yet, mustering the last strength, it kept moving. It stopped by a lake to drink a little water. Unfortunately, it fell into a poo of an elephant. <laughs> While he was there with the sticky poo of the elephant, the wings could not move, so he was stuck. And he was looking for help until a fox came. The fox walked close to it and began to lick the poo off its body. Oh, oh. Help in unusual source. <laughs> For a fox has never helped a, a bird. The bird was happy, looked, and said, Oh, what a comrade. Thank you. <laughs> At the last instance, the fox threw it up and ate. <laughs> then you will now write there at the end. Moral. Not everyone that is helping you is helping you. Every, a dark soul produces dark creativity. A dark soul produces. A joyous soul produces joyous creativity. Yeah. Yeah. When your soul is renewed by the word of God, the kind of things you'll be pushing out are things that will bring encouragement. Some of you just do not encourage people. As in you do, because you are so down, even in the best of situations, you see how it won't work. They tell you that, say, ah, you know, can you especially, and everything like that. They say, hmm. I know it's almost, it has almost happened. But you must understand that in life, people must brace up for disappointment. Please, please, don't give me your counsel again. I don't want. Because for some people, you are used to negativity. And unfortunately, some of your parents put it in you. Yeah. Yeah, pessimism. Your parents are always pessimistic about issues. Now you don't know. You have become that. Every issue, you see how it won't work. Unfortunately, me on the other side, I'm, I'm on the other side. Everything has what work. Don't, that, if you work with me, you must understand. Don't tell me it's not possible. That's a language I don't want to hear. Don't tell me it's not possible. Because it's possible. It might cost us a lot. We might drive ourselves a lot. We might push ourselves a lot, much more than we are doing right now. But it's possible. Don't say it's not possible. I don't want to hear that word. It's possible. It's doable. It's doable. It works. It will work. I say it works. It will work. Acts chapter 16, 23. Acts 16, 23. Acts 16, 23. Acts 16, 23. Let your soul be a blessed soul. I say, let your soul be a blessed soul. Yeah. Let your soul be full of joy. Is there anybody here who is going through a season? Yeah, you know, lift up your hand. Let me see your hand. A season that is not very fantastic and you believe God for breakthrough. Lift up your hand. Yeah. No, no, it's not everybody that's going through. So I'm not saying everybody should. But if you are here, listen to me. It's turning around. Yeah. I said it is turning around. Yeah. It will not continue like this. Amen. No, no, no. Everywhere in the Bible you see it came to pass. This one that has come, it will pass. Amen. I say it will pass. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. 
Praise God. Amen. Glory. Yeah. Praise God. Yeah, it's coming to pass. Yeah. Let's look at that. Let's read together. Everybody, let's read together as we round off this morning. What does it say? And when they had laid, how many stripes did they lay on them, everybody? Is he a few or many? Many stripes upon them. Listen, like I said, this is not small stripes, so because we say stripes, you know, like just these uh, zebra stripes, they just you know paint their body. They didn't know. It was beaten. The Bible calls it forty strokes, save one. You know what that means? That is thirty-nine. Okay, they were severely beaten and then were thrown into the whatever jail or them, you know. Severe, I just want to say severely. Uh -huh. They beat them. Oh, bad gun. I'm telling you, it was, it was serious. I, I, the Bible doesn't record they cried, but I'm sure they, they were close to tears. And I've told you before. Yeah, listen. You see, you, you, I'm, I can assure you, 90% of you here now, if I flog you three strokes, you will cry. We can try it, actually. <laughs> you will cry. Nine, let me tell you why you will cry. Some of you feel like you won't cry because you think that you are old now. Say me, ah, uh ah, -uh. meta. When I was young, they used to beat me 21. I would chest it. Let me tell you, you can't chest it again. You know, that time when you were young, they were always beating you regularly. So your body already, you know, yeah, your, your, your body is tough to hear. Listen, this one that nobody has beaten you in 10 years. You've started eating Kellogg's, you know. In those days, it was Gary, boarding school. It was Gary. You couldn't even afford picnic. It was cow bear. You know, it was, it was, it was, no, whatever. It was pronto. That's what you used to, that's what you used to drink that time. Not yeah. Now, you see yourself now, you're drinking, you know, Cadbury, all this stuff now and everything like that. You are using Olay soap. Now you have, you know, uh, you know, there's one thing you used to wash your face earlier. Then after one, you use another one. And after, you use another one. Almost four creams. Uh, you want to take your shower, you first use one to first wash off the, 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 the dirt. Then you use another one to introduce nutrients. Then you use a third. My friend, like, well, I'll soak man. Your skin has jolloffed. It's jollof now. It's, 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 it's succulent to touch. When the cane touches it, pie! Hmm. You will see the way, ah! You will see the way you go. Now, you, I'm, these are adults. At I'm more old, powers, and they gave him 39. And I'm telling you, those people, those days, they don't beat you with pancarel. It is like those things they use in beating slaves. When they beat you too, you will know you have taken. Let's say you chest it. Chest what? <laughs> Jesus could not chest it. I'm telling you, Jesus, the Son of God, <laughs> could not chest it. If Jesus could chest it, it would not be recorded that he suffered. Wow. So you thought they gave him one thing. Bah, just because. Just because, but no, our savior, full of the spirit, when the Romans took it with iron, with everything, when they destroy it, those things have hooks, it will hook to your skin so that when they pull it, it will tear skin out of your body. Yeah, that's how they should beat people. Bam! Ah! 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 Maybe the first one, you probably will cry. Second, by the third one, there won't be tears again. It, you will have cried. Because you know when, when someone just cries, ah, he said, ah, nothing is coming out. Nothing, the, it has passed a level of pain. Yet they gave them 39. I, I want you to understand in the midst of what the priest. Because some of you thought that they just gave them a few slaps. Then they threw them there. They started singing, praise that. No. So you know the challenges they went through. And after beating them, <laughs> give me this message. Put this message on the screen. Message. Let everybody read it. I want you to. <laughs> I want you to read it, everybody. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Has uh -huh. in. Come on, if we want nothing, you know. Yes. At, at 
adult. Ah, yes. Please put this scotch there. This is the kind, this is how this thing looks. The hooks, when it touches your back, it will hold on. So it hooks your skin. Then they drag it out. Now put, go back. Yeah. Ah, if they beat you, you will cry. I'm ter- <laughs> you don't even need 39. <laughs> By five, you will confess everything. <laughs> so, a minimal G. <laughs> they say, Sobo G. Ah. More for window. <laughs> so, even though you are not the one, you, do, you were not even, you were in Sokoto when they stole the thing. But after five, the ones you don't know and the ones you know, a minute, anything to stop this pain. And yet, because some of you don't appreciate when the Bible says they beat Jesus. Lift your hand and say, thank you, Lord Jesus. He was bleeding. You know what? The Bible said to the point, the Bible said they could not recognize him. Everywhere was swollen and torn. Isaiah said, we behold his visage. In fact, a translation said he did not look like a human being again. That means there was no difference between nose and cheek. Everything has swollen to be equal. Beating terribly. Blooded everywhere. Just for you. So they took this man and beat this man. And after they beat them, so let's go. The Bible says, after they beat them blue black, they threw them into the jail, telling the jailkeeper to put them under heavy guard so there would be no chance of escape. Continue, guys. He did just that, threw them into the maximum security cell in the jail and clamped leg irons on them. Continue. Along about midnight, Paul and Silas, what did they do? We had prayers. Hold on. So prayer comes first. I've told you. That's why we're saying supplication and necessary. So praise does not replace prayer. Because there are people who don't pray by anything again. They just want to sing. No. I'm 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 telling you. I discovered the higher law. Ijo ni mi manjo, ijo. Whoa, it's not like that. Oh. Notice what I'm saying. It is pre- pre- an addition. I didn't say subtraction. I didn't say substitution. It's an addition. So what did they do? They prayed. When you read the story of the king that went to dance bef- to fight, notice, I think it's Joshua, Father, right? Notice, he had to pray first. It was after prayer that they began to dance. So dancing is... <laughs> I'm a lot from Russia. I won't need bad drugs. Listen, whoa. <laughs> it was prayer first. Prayer. After you have prayed, a necessary addition to prayer. And along about midnight, Paul and Silas were at what? Prayer. And singing what? Now, notice robust. It was not just. You know, singing one, whatever. He was robust him of God. Hmm. Continue, everybody. Yeah. So, you know what they were singing? They know, the other prisoners go like, ah, are we not all in this same challenge? I want you to understand. Life might put you in a place. Don't put yourself there. So, you might look like you're feeling pain in your body. Don't act like the sick. Because everybody was in prison, but this guy was not acting like prisoners. They were living like the free. It's because the other prisoner says, ah, wait, are we not all in the same prison? They couldn't believe their ears. They sang out loud. And that's why I want to talk to you, some of you. Some of you don't know how to sing out loud because you don't want people to mock you. So you want to sit, sing small. Sing it loud. Let everybody hear. Yeah. I told you about my friend. I always tell you about the story of Taiwo. He's the abnormal human being that I had, as whatever. This boy is not normal. I was his pastor, so 
um, even though we were friends, but later on, I became his pastor, but, you know, so, of course, submitted and all that, but we still, I still, you know, we still talk sometimes like friends. And I would be going. He would just do, hey, bra. <laughs> we had another senior pastor. Our pastor would go like, Taiwo, Shiosi, because he was PA to my pastor. Taiwo, Shiosi. I'm not going to say that was massacre along sorry sir I I you sir when you see him yeah most of us who were around that area and who graduated around that season even now that's how we greet ourselves at some point when you see us you just say how far now you just say brah that's how he greets when you see him you just say how far you just say brah I said Taiwo, what is bra? Joy in Nisa. Joy. He's, he's always in joy flow. Things never cut. I mean, like, <sighs> we went to swim one midnight. Because we, we, used, we, we, we love swimming at midnight and all that. Because that time, people won't be in the pool. All right. So uh, we were pastors then, and many people knew us. So we didn't want to go and be swimming where everybody was. So, <laughs> no, 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 no. I had someone just said, I passed the church in alone. So, no, no, no. so we wait, everybody goes. And then, so usually we get to the pool, maybe around 10, hang around, around 12, maybe we swim to like 4 or 3, thereabout. And so we were, <laughs> no, 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 you're not in water all through. We take food, we hang out, we gist, we, and then we swim, we come out, see, and all that. It's always, it's a beautiful experience, really. You know. I've, I haven't had that. Maybe, except maybe if they come around, we can re, uh, <laughs> you know, and so. And almost all of us love to swim, but Tao can swim. So one day, one of those days, we were hanging out and all that. We just hear, boom, in the pool. <laughs> so everybody was like, Talufu, so me, Talufu, whatever. Ah. That's how <laughs> someone, yeah, his head just came out. <gasps> he was Tao. Then he went back again. <laughs> and he can't swim. That's a pastor said, uh, yeah, guys, guys, go and save him, go and save him. <laughs> because none of us was at that level. Let me tell you, saving people is another level. Uh -huh. You see, let me say, you must know where you are in life. <laughs> Don't you dare, because some of you over Sabi, you want to prove a point. Whoa! You would, when people say, hey, everybody jump in, Mike. <laughs> but there was one guy who was good. He went, another, Bolaji, Bolaji went into the water. We were all excited. We, ah, they will soon bring him out. Ah. Except that we just saw Bolaji was swimming in the shallow side. Then we're like, go in, go in, go in. He could get down. <laughs> After a while, Taiwo stopped coming up. We felt he had drowned. Then Bolaji went and brought him out. And the pastor was really angry with him, actually. That was wrong with you and everything like that. You want him to die and all that. And he said, no, sir, I'm sorry, sir. But I can't save him at that point. He was still trying to survive. If I went in there... He, the only thing he's looking to do to hold on to his support system, he would drag me to the bottom until he comes to the end of himself. There's no way I can save him. You know, I don't want to go into it, but that's the picture of salvation also. He went, and then they brought him and everything like that. Everybody, but of course, everybody still, we, we made fun of him, whatever, and everything like that. But you know what? Let me say this. You will sit there the next day and whatever, you will think you can mock him with that incident. You are deceiving yourself. <laughs> You are deceived. You know, some of you be ashamed. Like, oh, I don't want whatever. We say, Taiwo, Taiwo. You tell you, bra. <laughs> bra. <laughs> He's never sad. I've never. <laughs> he is something else. I shared with you, he went to apply for visa. He wanted, his, he's a twin, Taiwo, definitely. Kenny was in U.S. schooling abroad. He too wanted to leave and go and school abroad. He did everything. And all that. Then, finally, we finally got, you know, visa appointment and all that. We prayed, believed God. Then, he went to Lagos, came back, and all that. All of us were excited, and all that. So we're, we're trying to look at his face to determine. You know, when someone comes, you want to be sure. From the face, you can tell a lot. And, but when we came, we couldn't see anything. He was just smiling, and all that. So everybody was like, Taiwo, how far? How far? They said, when we get to the, to, the, to the house. So we got to whatever. So everybody said, Taiwo, now, how far now? And everything like that. He just looked. <laughs> Glory! All of us started rejoicing. Glory! He too was jumping. After I went, where is it? He said, one for me. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't give me the visa. 
you know, let me say this to you. We could not even be sad because we're like, what kind of a human being is this one? Is that one for me? <laughs> he's abroad now. He said to that three kids, doing well. He's in America now. I know that. Doing well. Hallelujah. God. You know, sometimes there are things to learn from people. Yes, oh, yeah. There are people around you that there are things you learn from. Oh, I learned a lot from Tao. To respond with joy, with praise always. You need to respond with praise. After they had flogged them, they began to praise. The other prisoners heard. They couldn't believe it. They were thinking that but we're all in prison. Why is this guy so different? Why is this guy so different? How are you responding? And I want you to see, the other prisoners couldn't believe their ears. Then without warning, everybody look at it. Put the scripture on the screen so that everybody can see it. Those of you, uh, the person behind, my, behind me. He says, and without warning, a huge earthquake. The jailhouse tottered. Every door flew open. All the prisoners were loose. By what instrumentality? By the instrumentality of prayer and praise. Whatever has kept you bound is broken. Amen. Listen, a prison is symbolic of something that has kept you small. Because prisons are restrictive. Yeah, they keep you at this stage. Whatever represents that, it is destroyed in your life. Amen. You have to rejoice. Yeah, yeah, listen, I'm telling you, you, see, you, you have to know how the proper response. You need to look at the troubles of life and tell it, brah. Hey, hey, I, I hope you can. Now, some of you have your own language of praise. That was Taiwan's language of praise. Some of you, you have your own. Some of you is glory. That, yeah. Someone shakes your hand and says, What's happening? Glory. Say, ah, ah. Another person say, Yay. Say, What is this? I win. I win, they said. And the person knows what you are going through. Yet you said, I win. We never lose. We never lose. I said, We never lose. I spoke to one of my daughters yesterday when she was leaving my house. I said, Listen to me, look in my eyes. I said, Hear me. We win always. I said, You heard me? I said, I heard you. I said, and I love it. I didn't even tell her to rejoice. She jumped up. She said, glory. I win always. I said, you got it. You win always. We win always. always. Not sometimes. I said, we win always. Win always. Glory. glory. Yeah. Notice not sometimes. Always. 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 Life comes. He does. Ha! He wants to scare you. Say, you're running, brah. Nothing. Nothing. Yeah. Greater is he that is on my inside than he that is in the world. Are you getting what I'm saying? The enemy tried saying one nonsense to me one midnight and everything like that. I said, in fact, let me tell you exactly how I respond. I said, Satan, wherever you are, whether I visit you or whatever, I say, hear me clearly. I said, this is midnight and there's nobody here. It's you and I. I said, a thousand of you here are too small. I said, a thousand of you here, you are too small. He said, greater is he that is in me. I said, for all of you, you are too small. Greater. I said, Jehovah is on my inside. Jehovah. Jehovah is on my inside. Jehovah is on my inside. Somebody is making mouth to you. And you are there scared. I will do, I will do something to you. I will whatever. I know that I will whatever. I always say to them, hey, I'm, I'm serious. Though. I'm not that kind of person you try. Oh. Forget the gentle me on the outside, the playful me. Oh. You will lose everything you have, including your life and everything around you. You don't, don't, don't come near me. Oh. Just stay and go and do something. But that you want to stand up and stretch forth evil and in my direction, you won't just go for it. Everything that you love will go for it. Don't, don't, don't bring those things around me. Because in the spirit, I don't joke. Say, a thousand of you are too small. You are too small. Come here. Let me see you. At least this is midnight. There's nobody to, say, to, to separate us. I told you some years ago. 
I used to have this demonic oppression of seeing ghosts. Disturb me. I came across Psalm 82. For ye are gods, and ye are the children of the Most High. I packed my, 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 my stool. I went to this um, graveyard close to our house. I got there around 1 a.m. plus. I snuck out, locked the door. I put my chair on one of the burial grounds. I sat down there. I said, if they burn you anywhere, all of you come here. I said, at least nobody's here to separate us. This is midnight. Stop coming to my sleep. I'm here in your midst. Come out. Come out, all of you. And if you can't come out here, don't me ever let you see you around me. After I waited for almost one hour in the burial ground, nobody came. I went back to my house. That was the last time I ever had that kind of attack. Greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. Jehovah is with us. Jehovah is with us. Do you know who we are talking about? The Bible calls him the God of hosts. Yoruba says it alone. The commander of the host of heaven. He's with us. Therefore, we shall not be moved. I want you to give Jesus a loud shout. not doing it well. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Say with me, greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. Say one more time, greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. Say one more time. Greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. Hallelujah. Don't let Satan harass you. You will lose it. You will lose it. Say lose what? Lose fire. You know, can't you see now? That the pregnancy is this. The pregnancy is a lie, lie. I will give birth to this one living. <laughs> Satan come and say, hey, say you wrong. You see, no, don't respond timidly. Let me say something. Some of you don't understand when you're dealing with Satan. That's not someone you joke with. You don't respond timidly. You, I, you respond ferociously. You respond ferociously. After you have prayed, you rejoice. You dance. We can't rejoice today because of time. Please, you cannot miss Wednesday service. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, listen. For, for, for almost 30 days now, throughout this month, apart from Sundays, we have been fasting and praying, fasting and praying a necessary addition to fasting is praise you, you just saw it now after they prayed, they praised God I've told you that a necessary addition is faith, you must have faith I've taught you that a necessary addition is authority, confidence in prayer I've told you about the place of sacrifice hear me clearly praise is a necessary addition when you are praying about something, get yourself ready. Sing and rejoice. You are dancing, you are rejoicing. Come and join me, sing hallelujah. Jehovah Jireh has done me well. Come and join me, sing hallelujah. Jehovah Jireh has Timbani King Kareolua Ile Ashu Ile Timbani King Kareolua Ile Ashu Ile Dansa Ki Oba Dansa Ki Oba Ojojumon Lore Resini Dansa Ki Oba Abelun She Olon Yano And you are rejoicing before the Lord You are rejoicing You are dancing Yeah Amen. Don't let Satan say, ha, this thing, ha, 
is a threatening something. There is no threatening anything. Lift your right hand and say, Lord, I believe. I have prayed. I know you have heard me. I rejoice as the proof of my faith that I know that all things has worked together for my good, for my progress. In the name of Jesus. Now take one minute and dance before God. Dance, dance. Dance. Rejoice. If you want to shout, don't mind anybody. Shout. Rejoice. 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 Ewa won to lu wa se fun mi 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 Eyi lo mu mi du pe o Eyi lo mu mi du pe o Eyi lo mu mi du pe o Ewa wo, ewa wo to lu wa se fu mi. Hey, ewa wo to lu wa se fu mi. Ewa wo to lu wa se la ye mi. Ewa wo to lu wa se. Can you see the end of that challenge? E yi lo mu mi tu pe o. E yi lo mu mi tu pe o. Eyi lo mu mi dupe e wa wo e wa wo to lu wa se fu mi rejoice can you see what god has done are you still seeing the challenge or the victory see the breakthrough somebody Ewa wo, ewa wo. Ewa wo to lu wa se fu mi. Ewa wo to lu wa se fu mi. Ewa wo to lu wa se la ye mi. E yi lo mu mi du pe o. E yi lo mu mi du pe o. E yi lo mu mi du pe o. Dansa ki opa, dansa ki opa, dansa ki opa, dansa ki opa. Ojo juma lore resi me dansa ki opa. Dansa ki opa, dansa ki opa, dansa ki opa. Ojo juma lore resi me dansa ki opa. Dansa ki opa, dansa ki opa, dansa ki opa. Dansa ki opa, ojo juma lore resi mi dansa ki opa. Dansa, dansa ki opa, dansa ki opa, ojo juma lore resi. I will praise the Lord. I will praise the Lord. I will praise the Lord with my whole heart. With my whole heart. I will praise the Lord, precious people. Praise the, I will praise them. I will praise the Lord. I will praise the Lord with my whole heart. With my whole heart, I will praise the Lord, precious. Come on, praise the Lord. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Jesus, a shout of joy. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. 
listen to me. You shall have a song as in the night. And then the Lord shall cause his voice to be heard. And by the voice of the Lord, the Assyrians shall be smitten. Father, we praise you. We do not take our reference from this challenge. We take our reference from our victory. Our song reflect our victory. We sing the Lord's song. We sing the song of Zion. The Bible said in captivity, Paul and Silas still sang. Thank you, Father, because we still sing. We still praise you. Blessed be your name. Jesus, mighty name of prayer. One more time, give Jesus a shout of praise.